Hey, what's up guys, we're Ross Knight, we're back in the video. Today I want to talk about uh, a story I actually have to tell you guys. So this, thing, this story happened probably about 4 months ago-ish, when me and my friends uh, had all purchased GTA 5 recently. So we were all playing, uh, messing about, we were all decently low levels, we were probably like 60 to 70-ish at the time. And we had made it to the, the Pacific Standard Drop Heist, if you guys don't know what that one is, it's the last heist in GTA 5 that you can do online with your friends. So basically it's made up of four people and you do the heist and you get money from doing the heist. And the heists are also pretty fun to do half the time. So we do the heist and uh, we couldn't do it with four people because we didn't have four people on and there was only three of us. So we had this one random guy that we just invited and like when you do the auto invite if you guys have ever played gta and done an event before you know the auto invite so we just did an auto invite he was the one of the guys that joined now i think he wasn't too high of a level i think he was like level 40 ish so he joined and we did it with him we did most of the work we made it to uh the alley part where you have to go through the alley and clear all the policemen and all that and we tell him, so we send him a message before, just stay back a little bit, guard the back of the alleyway, because that's where some of the cops spawn at the end. And so we pushed up, we cleared it all, he came with us. We got to the bikes, and we did the Karuma glitch, where you go into your uh, apartment and grab the Karuma and uh, go out. And sometimes you get two stars, but they pass when you get five stars now, after driving back out. And so we did the crew glitch, and we go all the way down, and we drive the entire route, which is like 4.3 miles-ish, and we get all the way back there, and we're all, we're all the way there, and we just drive off the side of the pit, because the crew might doesn't really explode easily, so we just drive off slowly, get to the boat, and the other kid hops in the boat, and we're like, oh, okay, whatever, he'll drive, he's over 40, he should be able to drive a boat. Yeah, that was a pretty fatal error of ours. So, we all get in the boat, we hop in, and the guy drives, starts going. He goes straight into a rock, and we're like, oh no, it's not gonna end up. And the boat flies all the way to the other side of the little river you go down with the boat to go out to the ocean, to or the sea or whatever, to get out from under the bridge. Literally, the first rock he goes and drives and hits it and flies over to the other end and gets the boat stuck. And the mission resets. All the way back to the bikes. So we do the whole thing again. We get into the Karuma. We're almost back to the cliff. And the kid leaves. Leaves. Kid left. Kid's like, nah. So, literally, we were going up, we were going across the tiny wooden bridge. To get up to the part where you're supposed to jump off and parachute with the bike. Sorry, you're supposed to jump off the bikes and bail off the bikes and parachute. We made it to that part and the kid leaves. Leaves. He was the lowest level there and he leaves. And we just kept failing with other people. Other people were terrible and they kept trying to do their own thing and they never ever succeeded. And the one time, the one time we got a kid was decent. We got to the one part. We got to the end part again. He didn't drive the boat. We were driving the boat. We go. We're right before the bridge, the kid leaves again. Just leaves. Not the same kid, but another kid just leaves. Right before. It's like, why? It was about to end. Why'd you leave? You could've gotten your cut. And the kid just leaves. He just decides that, nah, I'm gonna leave now. So, that's all really I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.